All right, good morning. God bless everybody in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. It is 9-19, September the 9th. Um, <laughs> I want to share real quick, try to keep this to a short video. You guys, um, what I'm seeing here, you guys, by reading the scriptures and discerning the times and the history repeating itself over and over, and looking at, you know, these are the days of evil and how people worship idols and everything. And uh, what they don't understand is Hollywood is full of worshiping idols. That's what they, the stars that are on the ground, all the names of people they worshiped uh, and idolize, all of them. Musicians, rock stars, uh, television actors, all of it, you know presidential presidents over and over the many of them all of them that have been throughout history everything when you look at uh, history what a lot of people don't realize you guys I've had it I was shown in the beginning I've seen where all these big cities here in America are going to be nuked but the thing is I didn't see incoming I just seen where they were nuked where nukes went off and uh, I'm gonna share, somebody sent me a dream of Sarah Mentis or something like that. Uh, from 1979, she committed suicide and the Lord brought her back to life. Brought her back to her body. And uh, she's seen all the things that were gonna be coming. And some of the things she describes, I've seen. And then the sores and the boils on the bodies and stuff, that's in scripture, but I also know these injections, your DNA, um, where the Lord's ex exposed everything to us. And uh, we see how everybody believes their, their patronism to this nation. And uh, this nation is as evil and as get out as can be. And God has exposed it. He brought it right out and showed it to people, yet people still are holding on to it and they're being distracted Republican Democrat Republican Democrat he said a house divided won't ever stand and this house has never been uh, united even though it's called united it's never been united it's always been divided you guys everything is a lie and it's a deception here and people can't see it it's not Christ they follow it's, it's of the devil that they follow here. That's who it is that they obey. That's why scripture also says, you are whom you obey. Whether sin into death or God into obedience. Give to Caesar what's Caesar's and to God to what's God's. He's, he's, he's showing everybody right now. Everybody's following the devil. I see right now even people that are still holding on to this as long as possible into this world and it's just amazing but this is it's what's gonna happen and uh, I see where military spraying chemicals in the sky this guy's all whited out you can see where it's blue but I can see a lot of white in it you know made big time a lot of white in it and uh, then at the same time they're gonna be coming out with these injections to inject people and I seen where gangbangers were taking people captive the other night. And then um, Kay sent me this lady's vision that she was given by the Lord when she committed suicide and was brought back to life. She's seen all these things. And uh, gangbangers that are attacking, raping, taking people captive. And that's what I've seen. I've seen them all being taken prisoner and stuff. People. And they're going to be fighting and killing. And then she's seen them with sores and boils and they were dying from it. People dying from viruses. Jars were brought in with something and then they would be broken and people would be getting infected and they didn't even know how or why. Or, um, you guys, this isn't the United States. It's the United Nations. They've already come together. And scripture already says God's going to cause them to give their power to the beast. Okay? The United ten horns, you know. That's what's happening. And uh, people don't seem to understand this. And they uh, 
it's amazing. It's really amazing how people are still following it. And they say they know we're in the end, but yet they they still go in, listen to it once a week, has a little sermon on Sunday, and uh, people are being told they'll be raptured out of here. Don't even, it's okay. You'll be all right. You'll be raptured out of here. Well, a lot of people are going to be stuck in certain places because they didn't get ready, and they were listening to the enemy. Remember, Scripture even says Satan has ministers of righteousness. There's lots of them out there, man. Lots. They're all over the place, man. And that it is that it is who they listen to. See, when you tell them the truth, they don't seem to want to hear that, you know. And when you're not trying to give them some kind of ear tickling sermon, it's not what they want to hear, you know. And Scripture tells us that too. Anyhow. World War II, you guys. Hitler, um, he, he was getting funded by all of them. America, Russia. They all went in there and took all their top scientists out. And then they killed as many people as they could kill. That's what they do. That's what the devil does. He kills. Robs, steals, and destroys. And that's exactly what everybody did. Okay? All of that. Hitler, America, Russia. Um... And people believe what they tell them. You guys, they've always been ruling the roost over us. You know, one day to the Lord is a thousand years to us. The Lord knows everything that's happening. He's exposing it all right now. Yet most people, because of their love of the nation, you know, when they worship, um, they say they, um, they're patriotic because of their veterans who fought and died, who were deceived, and fought and decided, just like the other nations too. They fought and died. Many people are getting offended by this, what I'm saying, because the truth will offend them, you know, especially to know they've been, all the time, they've been following and worshiping Caesar, not God. It's not God's ways that they follow. It's man, the devil. And they raise their children up. Yeah, as soon as they learn the ABCs, okay, now we're going to teach you to pledge your allegiance to Satan. That's what that is. All of them. I don't care what faith they are, it doesn't matter. They all are raised that way. To be patriot, to whatever, you know. Not real love, because if it was real love, they would know the Lord and come to the Lord. Anyhow, you guys, food for thought, okay? Stay into the word. The word tells you exactly everything. It also says, come out from among her, my people, and I will receive you. Come out from among her. The world, stop following it. This is all about to be destroyed. Why are you still following it? Why are you still doing what it says? Can't you see? When all this stuff goes south and it's all going really, really bad, you're not going to be, most won't be following, a lot will. They're going to go right to the slaughter because that's what's what they're going to do. They can't see right. They're blind. That's why it says the blind lead the blind. Don't both fall into the ditch. You know, it's high time to wake up and come up out of it, you guys. High time. Follow and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. All who call on the Lord will be saved. You know, and he's calling people, telling people to come out come out from among it. That's what scripture says. It doesn't say to be following this and be patriotic to this. It says, touch not the unclean thing and I will receive you. This is, is if you can't see how evil this is, then I don't know what else, there ain't nothing left to say. Anyhow, everybody's still doing what they gotta do to keep that beast functioning. You know, they wanna keep that beast functioning to the very end because their whole world is based on this. The love of it. The cares of it. Everything. God bless you guys. I hope pray that you all receive a message on this. Stay to the word, man. Read the word. Trust trust the word. And you got to look at it. This, it's We're not living it. This world, this life, never was at any time. God bless you guys. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior.